This time of year, our, our summer fishery is pretty unique. You know, we get a lot of aquatic grasses that grow under the water here. If you use a, a, like a pre-tied knotted leader, a lot of times those knots will grab that, that grass and you end up having to clean it off constantly. So this time of year, I go with just a straight piece, in this case, 30 pound fluoro, and that way you don't have the knots dragging through the grass and catching things. So that's what we're gonna tie on for you today. Use a little non-slip mono on the top to connect it to the fly line. So Paul, just like with your, your leader to fly line connection, I'm gonna tie a non-slip mono loop onto your fly itself. And what that does is it seems to give the fly just a little bit more action. You know, it gives it a, a, an area to sort of move around freely and look a little less impeded. And that non-slip mono loop is, is really pretty easy. All it is is just an overhand knot to start. You go through the fly with your tag end through the eye of the fly. This trailer trash is getting in my way here. And then you just go back through the overhand knot. And then from there, it's almost like a, a clinch knot. You're just gonna wrap your tag in around three or four times. And then go back through the hole that you created going through your overhand knot. So you can see it's a perfect circle there. You just wanna go through the circle. And then something else that I learned in my 101 class is that you wet your, you wet your knots. 40% failure uh, increase by not wetting the knot, just from friction. Cinch that baby down and got yourself a non-slip mono loop. And that way the fly can, can move around and act like it wants, so it really looks like good trailer trash. If we were doing our wintertime fishery where you're not gonna have those grasses, you know, I may do a step down like 40, 30, 20, something like that. And then that way you, you get the ability to turn over those bigger flies a little better. But because we're look, you know, using stuff that's just gonna suspend or even float, we don't really need to turn over a big heavy fly. So using just straight one piece is okay. Nine foot? Yeah, I mean, I'm probably going closer to seven, seven and a half just because you don't need a longer leader here, and it, again, it makes it easier to turn over, especially to get some wind. Oh. 